All right, guys, today we got a bit of a blowout for Echoes of Wisdom. Lots of new screenshots, character names. I even got the text translated. And by the way, something like seven minutes of brand new footage for the game. All of this is courtesy of the official Zelda Japanese website and or the Twitter account for Zelda as well. That's right. If you guys didn't know, there's an official Zelda Twitter account. But in here, I included translations that I ran through things like Google Translate. So we can have an idea of what is being said in some of these screenshots, along with additional information on brand new characters. So without further ado, we're going to jump in after I remind you, yeah, we're on a road to 150,000 subscribers. I really would appreciate if you would subscribe, especially if you want to stay up to date on all the latest on Echoes of Wisdom. So let's go ahead and get into some of the stuff, we're gonna look first at some of the translated screenshots. And first up, we have the Loin Rock. Loin Rock, thank you, I'll take it, Rock. Just a really interesting screenshot. Obviously, this is you know very similar to the sort of stuff we saw with the Rock stuff in Breath of the Wild, or should really focus more on Tears of the Kingdom with it, the Rock Roast, but it might not be called Loin Rock in the official translation. It might be called Rock Roast, we'll see, but it's pretty... Pretty interesting stuff here. Unfortunately, no names of these characters at this time. Uh, next up, we have the character here. I'm just going to say character because we don't know their name. Saying cats are whimsical and free-spirited. They're so adorable. I do think there might be some sort of side quest at some point here with the cats. So I, I do find that you know, uh, you know, really interesting. Yeah, we have a different style of cat. Previously, we really only saw like black cats in the screenshots. Here we see... Uh, a different type of cat. I wonder how many different types of cats there will be in the game. Next up, we have what appears to be some sort of training ground because it says leave it later. As you can see, I'm training. I don't know what Zelda is leaving for these guards or whatever they are. Uh, but yeah, you can see the training dummies in the background with the targets on them. A nice little training area. Pretty neat. Next up, we have the River Zora area with the little River Zora guy here saying, I'm not the only one. The water is scary. Zola! So, yeah, this one's a little scared of the water, which is quite interesting. Uh, probably the deeper water, if I had to guess, since they're already standing in that shallow water. And then we'll get into the screenshot here that says, hey, welcome to the smoothie shop. So this is a, another smoothie shop. Looks like a much bigger one inside a hut or a building somewhere. Pretty neat. You got the pears. It looks like maybe some grapes or plums there, apples, lots of different even vegetables back there. So pretty interesting stuff. Next up, we also have a little translation here of one of the little Deku scrubs that we still don't know their names uh, out there eating that spider web cotton candy. And it says, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Obviously, we don't know what the official translation is. It says maybe it'll say yum, 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 yum or something. But uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Now we're going to get into the screenshots that uh, don't really have any text, so we don't really require translations. First up, we have another uh, zoom in on Hyrule. Uh, town, Hyrule Castle Square here, Hyrule Town Square, so pretty cool. Uh, some characters here that we don't know their names of, kind of chilling, looks pretty cool. Next, we have a screenshot here in, it looks to be probably in the Sea Zora area, but for some reason, Drad from the River Zoras is there, playing on that giant horn, pretty badass, if, I, if I'm just completely honest. Next up, we have another picture here of Zelda, you know, talking to a Goron who... I guess looks like he's thinking. We, again, we don't know the name of this Goron yet, but pretty interesting area, probably in the Elden Volcano area. Yeah, next up we have Princess Zelda just sort of running on screen to some guards here. The Look like these are friendly. look like Gerudo guards, to be completely honest there. Next up, this is really cool. We still don't know the name of this character, whoever the leader of the, well, you know, Caesora are, but here they are playing a harp, which is... Man, that's awesome. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. And Drad back there is just, like, shocked. I like, oh, man, that is so beautiful. Man, that's that's gorgeous. Uh, here's another uh, one where Zelda's running up on some Deku scrubs. Clearly, you can see that they can, like, be down in the ground, and then they can pop out, which is pretty true to form for Deku scrubs. Here we see Zelda talking to three different Gorons, and, we, again, we don't know their names, but I do find it absolutely awesome. The guy with the mustache really reminds me of fellow co-host of our channel, Thunderstash Gaming. I mean, look, just compare these two. Come on now. Come on. You can't tell me. You can't tell me they didn't get inspired by Thunderstash. Next up, we have 
Zelda in here with, well, whoever is leading the Gerudo. The, I, we, we don't know who these people are. We don't know. You know, it, it gives off, obviously, a little bit of vibes from, like, Breath of the Wild. We're like, hey, the little one down by Zelda might be Riju, and then you have Urbosa up there. At the top. But, but again, that's obviously just guessing at this point. Uh, we don't actually know their names, but, man, this does look really cool. This whole scene, the, the, the visuals in this game are just fantastic. Next up, we see Zelda talking to another Goron, uh, maybe in a shop. I don't really know. Maybe in their house. Uh, not much going on. Some steam coming off the water. So, hey, maybe, maybe there's some uh, Gorons, you know, in, in, in the good old steam pools, like a hot tub. I don't know. Just saying. That, 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 that was a thing in prior Zelda games. Next up, we see Zelda talking to a townsfolk. I don't know where this is. I uh, don't know what's being said. Don't know if Kakariko or, or somewhere else. But, yeah, probably a kid. Looks like a kid. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Now, this next section, we're going to go over some characters because we have some, well, let's just say official translations, but we're going to go off the translations off the website because there's additional characters. We know their names. We know what they are. We'll start with the most obvious one, the King of Hyrule and the father of Princess Zelda. Not a big surprise there who he is. He, obviously an important character, but, you know, one that we know gets sucked up in a rift. Uh, next up, we say Rubiri. Rubiri is Impa's brother, so Impa's in the game, and a Rift researcher. Uh, kind of reminds me of a certain character from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, so I'm curious if this is actually going to be uh, his translated name in the official English translation. But anyways, next up we see General Ugi. This is a brand new character. Says a passionate and righteous general of the Kingdom of Hyrule. So maybe he's like the leader of the Hyrule army. Uh, we know that he's one of the characters that gets sucked up in a rift as well. Next up, there's Impa. Of course, Impa's here. Uh, the nurse who always stands by Princess Zelda. So a nurse? I don't know if she's actually a nurse. That would be sort of a new role, but uh, pretty neat. And then we have Minister Sideri. Don't Again, don't know if that's going to be the official English translation, but that's what it is, Japanese English. And it says, the serious and polite minister of the kingdom of Hyrule. So the, you know, hey, this is like a serious kingdom, a real organization, and they have a, literally a minister, a general... Yeah, so pretty pretty cool stuff. A princess as well, obviously, with Zelda. All right, next we're going to get into some footage, and I'm going to let this first clip play because it does actually have audio, and we haven't heard a lot of the raw audio of the game, so I'm just going to let this one go. It is about the business scrub and getting a smoothie made. All right, this next clip is a look at bind and moving the spider and then doing the unbind thing, and you end up being able to climb up this really, really steep cliff. Pretty awesome stuff. Next up, we have Zelda here using that ability again to fly up a little bit to get to an upper shelf. That's pretty damn awesome. Uh, next up, we see, well, using that spinner item and just flying across the screen. Next up, we see Zelda grabbing, grabbing a nice Lizalfos and dropping them in the lava. Pretty awesome. And then we see Zelda using her ability there to pull the chest out of the ground. Something we had seen, you know, in prior footage, but not this exact chest. And getting a pot of, I have no idea, some sort of flower pollen thing. Uh, next video we see here is her using the bind ability to hold to hold a wolf as she summons some moblins to come out. Uh, one notable thing to in all this footage is you'll see that all these bind abilities are binded to Y and X. You can have up to two bound, not the D-pad cardinal direction. So we'll have to see uh, if that ends up being updated to anything in particular. Uh, next up, you'll just see her using that ability again for that same puzzle we saw in the trailer. Except this time, you'll see her more fr freely move around. You see a bit more of the room. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, then, we see, well, Zelda using a couple different techniques to take out enemies. First, doing this fire thing, whatever that fire ability is, uh, enemy or whatever, and, and lighten the grass and taking out enemies in that way. And then, <laughs> then we're going to see another way to do it. Uh, where she actually combines a rock roast by throwing it on the ground and then takes out a, you know, to, to have the enemies come over to it and then brings out the pea hat. 
The P hat comes out and wrecks face and takes him out. What a cool little way to combine multiple item uses. I love it. Gotta love it. Uh, next up here, we see Zelda uh, dealing with this area we saw that she used a moblin with before. And this time she's got like a bomb fish. So a bomb fish takes him out. And then we see her deal with those same enemies again. But this time she decides, you know what? Let's use this new tornado enemy guy. I don't know his name, but pretty cool. Uh, now we see Zelda chilling here. Oh man, we got a bird. It's coming at us. What are we going to do? All right, let's get some moblins out that throw spears because they can throw them up in the air. That's pretty cool. That's one way to take them out. But then also, hey, you know what? I can summon birds too. So why don't we go bird for bird, baby? Bird for bird, baby. Let's go. So that's just another way, obviously, to take out an enemy, a flying enemy. Pretty cool stuff. Uh... <laughs> So I'm getting really, I'm getting really hyped over some of this footage because it is just so cool. Now we get to uh, the Zulu waters area, I presume, and then bam! You know what? We got a little shark in there. You know what? Don't worry, I got multiple fish. My fish are coming to take you out, Sharky. That's yes, right. And we defeat the enemy. That's just one way to do it, of course, because you could also be like, hey. Let's electrocute you with whatever that ability is, whatever that echo ability is. We're just shocking you. Get out of here. We get up there. We escape on the boat. Good times. Next up, we see Zelda needing to get by some wind gust shooters. And so, hey, let's go ahead and drop some rocks or some boulders. Real easy way to get by. But that's not the only way. Because you know what? Maybe I just want a trampoline over it, man. You know what? Just set up the trampoline and let's have some fun. Yeah, whatever. I like this game. There's so many cool ways to solve things. Uh, next up, we see Zelda. Oh, no. I'm on fire. What now? Oh, I put a wind guster down, and I put myself out. That's pretty awesome. And then we'll see Zelda attempt it a different way. I'm on fire. Oh, no. Let me just drop a water block and walk in and go for a swim. Because, you know, because I, I can, right? Right? That's all. That's the only reason we need to do anything, because you can. Uh, next up, we're going to see where Zelda's trying to traverse over this cliff area over to the chest, and yeah, let's just summon a keys and glide over, and then we'll see her try to solve it in a completely different way, just dropping water blocks and swimming on through them all the way over. So multiple ways in this game to solve things, which is always fun to see. Then we see her, oh, same little thing, we gotta get across the lava, let's drop some rocks so we can get across and walk real nice, or hey, you know what? Why don't we try just dropping some beds and just doing it that way? Now, I don't know, it beds will start on fire in reality, but that being said, we don't have a ton of other footage to show you. We do have a clip here uh, where they're fighting an Otterok, blocking it again with a rock, and then dropping the keys up there that dives down and takes out the Otterok. We also see uh, doing another uh, little tactic here with a redead to scare them. Then she brings out some holes and watches them drop right in those holes. So... That's pretty cool. And then we're seeing a water pillar here where she's about to rise up on the bed. The bed is floating. Here we are in an area where she's got to use the fire to see what she's doing. Very cool. The art style looks gorgeous in that dark environment. Then we're seeing whatever enemy this is, whatever thing she does, some of that butterfly thing fly around. You see we could trampoline and get on top of the trees. Oh, man. Dude, this game. This game is just... Magical man, then using the water, you know what? Screw it, let's keep going up. Is there a treetop? I can get to the top of a treetop. <laughs> there is nothing in this game I cannot do. <laughs> uh, then here's just this last one, maybe the most boring clip, just kind of showing off how the ability works, you know, just by summoning some tables. Uh, nothing too exciting, but hey, it was technically new footage on the website. Now, the very last thing I wanted to share with you, and I don't know if you guys consider this a spoiler, it's not too bad. Uh, they have a story section on their website, and I went ahead and got the text translated, and the text says, after Princess Zelda was captured by Ganon, the swordsmith Link appeared before her. After a fierce battle, Link successfully defeated Ganon, but was swallowed up by a mysterious rift and disappeared. Now, spirited away. I don't know. It makes me think of the, the Studio Ghibli movie. But anyways, mysterious rifts appear all over the vast land of Hyrule, engulfing not only Link, but everyone and everything in Hyrule, as well as the king and his entourage. Princess Zelda is left behind, desperate to save her father, the king, and her people. He then, it's supposed to be her, or she then, uh, sets off on an adventure across Hyrule to save Link. Again, I don't really know that any of that's a spoiler. I think most of that is just inferred and easily figured out by watching the footage. But, you know, just in case there's something in there that you're like, ah, man, it's a story. You just spoil it. You're like, it's official stuff. It's on the website. But there's your translation. Guys, I'm so excited for this game. 
Now, hold up. I said that was the last thing to show. I actually lied. We have a bunch of icons. Uh, this, these icons are, are pretty fascinating. Uh, just, just looking at them individually, like right here, you see that we got a bear. These icons, by the way, are for your echoes. So we can, we can summon a bear. Obviously we can summon a tree. We can summon uh, a Zole. We can summon a bed, obviously a water cube, a gust cannon, a table, a sign. I don't know what the signs are for, but we can summon them. Apparently uh, a carrot, a carrot is used to, uh, summon your horse. We see this mound. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is similar to like a like, like or something, but, uh, we can summon that. Uh, we can summon this fish. Don't know the, the name of the fish yet. Hyrule bass or something beats the heck out of me. Uh, we can summon a rock. We can summon a trampoline. We can summon this fish. <laughs> We've already seen that fish in action fighting off against some sharks. We can summon this Deku Baba, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can summon this, uh, blueberry. I believe that's a blueberry. Uh, we can go ahead and summon this little fire pit thing. Uh, go ahead and summon this thing. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's a slug. It kind of looks like a slug. Uh, don't have a name for it yet. You can obviously summon a Lizalfos. You can summon a Redead. You can summon the snake, who's probably the rope, but I don't know if they're going to call it a rope. Maybe they rename it. That's what snakes used to be called in Zelda, were ropes. Um, next up, you can summon a boulder. I don't know. Uh, then you can summon a Tektite. You can go ahead and summon what is probably a Beemos. It's probably like the eye follows the enemy and then shoots a laser out. That's what I assume anyways, like a Beemos. Uh, obviously, we have the keys we could summon. We have this thing that I keep forgetting what the name, name of this is because it's not really an enemy. It's more like a thing that you would fly around in a dungeon and hit you, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we have that thing. Uh, don't forget, obviously, our meat, right? You got to gotta have some meat in the game, some, some prime roast. Uh, we got our pea hat. Our P hats in the game. Pretty cool that we could summon that. Uh, that. That's all the echoes that they ended up having on the website. So, guys, there's a lot of really fascinating stuff going on with this game. I'm really excited uh, to get my hands on Echoes of Wisdom. And I'm even more excited that, that, you know, Nintendo just keeps giving us new stuff almost every day this week. I mean, you would swear the game is coming out this week with how much information they're dropping. And now, guys, it's still like six, seven weeks away. So... Man, they're just going to keep giving us lots of Zelda goodness, seemingly to talk about every single day, at least Monday through Friday. So look forward to all of my deep dives on the future of Echoes of Wisdom. You guys are awesome and amazing. And you know what? I'll catch you in the next video.